Hello, it's Gabriel McBird here on the 21st of February 2022. And I'm in a restaurant in East Ham that I used to use quite regularly um, before I changed jobs slightly and before the pandemic when I was in East London quite a lot. This is called Priya, spelt P-R-I-Y-A, and it does Sri Lankan and South Indian cooking. Um, I had mutton rolls, for starter, which are a very Sri Lankan thing. They're like big croquettes, really, um, but they con- they contain ta- um, sort of mashed potato and mutton. Um, and then I had a deviling food special, is what they call it on the menu. You know, I think deviled seed, um, deviled food is what they really mean, and it isn't just seafood. Um, uh, yeah, actually, to be fair, I think they call call it a deviled special. Um, but it's um, it contains oh, there's a coffee machine or something rather loudly in the background here. But yeah, this contains um, squid, prawns, kingfish, crab, uh, and some chicken and some mutton. All cooked in a spicy, a spicy sauce with lots of onions and peppers. Um, although there is a sauce with it, it's not a really saucy kind of dish. Um, but uh, really tasty. And then I've got, I had two cream sodas, and I'm having a masala tea to finish off. I think they do, you know, some basic kind of beer in here, but I'm, you know, it's only bottled lager really, and I'm happy enough with, you know, going for the cream tea and the the, the masala tea. So I will come back and report on the price. Um, but I mean, it's been it's been such a big meal that normally I would expect to pay. I would expect to pay the best part of 20 quid for that devil special dish with everything in it, to be honest. It was huge. Um, I'd been charged that, and I was charged, say, a fiver for the mutton rolls, um, two pounds each for the... the uh, or a pound each even for the sodas. Uh, um, kind of three pounds for the masala tea. Um, anything under thirty quid, I'd say, is pretty good value. And I'll get back to you and let you know what the prices actually were. Well, I've just been given the bill and paid it. Uh, and it was eighteen pounds and twenty, which, as far as I'm concerned, for that amount is just ridiculous. Really good value. Um, if they've charged me twenty pounds more, I couldn't have really been overcritical, as I've said. So, full marks of them. And if you're ever in East Ham, I definitely recommend Priya needs a call. It's um. You go out of the station, cross over the road that the station's on, a uh, pelican, a pelican near, um, sorry, a zebra nearby the station. Do you mean a zebra? No, I do mean a pelican with a bleat. Cross over there um, and then turn back on yourself and you probably go maybe 50 metres down the street and the place is just there on your left. No, it's barely a minute's walk from East Ham Station as far as I'm concerned it is a belter so yeah I just sort of come back and give them a mark um, given the value of the thing I'm going to have to give them 9 out of 10 my only criticism would be that some of the um, stuff in there um, the prawns were slightly overcooked um and the mutton wasn't the tastiest, if it's the tastiest I've ever had, a little tough, but in fairly small pieces. These are nitpicking sort of criticisms, though. Uh, and I have to say the masala tea, uh, which I think I called cream tea earlier on, <laughs> the masala tea was really nice, um, made with milk and um, quite spicy. So, yeah, I've not needed to eat anything else today. 
solid nine out of ten, and definitely one as I say if you're in that East Ham, in that East Ham sort of area. Uh, there are other places around there to check out as well. I'm not sure how many have survived the acad. The um, I'm not sure how many have survived. You know all the you know all the lockdowns and everything else, but uh, I imagine there's still a few places to be found.